Robert Pattinson and Suki Waterhouse's journey into parenthood, a critical analysis. The recent public appearance of Robert Pattinson at the Dior Men's Wear Spring Summer 2025 fashion show in Paris marked a rare and intimate glimpse into his private life as he gushed over his three-month-old daughter with Suki Waterhouse. This moment is significant not just for the fans but also for the broader cultural context surrounding celebrity parenthood and the often complex relationship between public personas and private lives. Robert Pattinson, known for his reticence when it comes to his personal life, made a notable exception as he shared his thoughts on fatherhood. In a video shared on X, he expressed the dual feelings of aging and rejuvenation that come with having a baby, calling his daughter so cute. Pattinson's reflection, I'm amazed by how quickly their personality comes. So even at three months, I'm like, oh, I can kinda see who she is already, reveals a deep connection and fascination with the early stages of his daughter's life. This openness is striking given Pattinson and Waterhouse's history of keeping their relationship and personal milestones under wraps. Their decision to subtly announce the birth of their daughter through a casual photograph pushing a stroller in Los Angeles in March speaks volumes about their desire for privacy amidst their public lives. Pattinson and Waterhouse's approach to their relationship and parenthood exemplifies the delicate balance celebrities must maintain between their public and private lives. Unlike many public figures who opt for grand announcements, the couple's understated revelation of their daughter's birth aligns with their broader pattern of discretion. Their initial confirmation of Waterhouse's pregnancy came subtly as well, with Waterhouse showcasing her baby bump during a concert in Mexico in November 2023. This preference for privacy stands in contrast to the often intrusive nature of celebrity culture, where personal milestones are frequently commodified and scrutinized. By choosing to reveal their personal news in such a controlled manner, Pattinson and Waterhouse assert agency over their narrative, resisting the pressures to conform to the sensationalist tendencies of the media. Despite their general inclination towards privacy, there are moments when Pattinson and Waterhouse strategically allow glimpses into their personal lives. Waterhouse's playful comment during her concert, I decided to wear something particularly sparkly today cause I thought it might distract you from something else that's going on. I'm not sure if it's working, is one such instance. This blend of humor and subtlety serves to engage the audience without fully divulging private details, maintaining a sense of mystery and control over their public image. Similarly, Waterhouse's acknowledgement of her daughter during her Coachella performance in April demonstrates a thoughtful balance between personal expression and public engagement. Her statement, I love amazing ladies, and I've been very lucky to have my own little amazing lady and meet the love of my life, not only celebrates her new role as a mother but also connects with her audience on a more intimate level, fostering a sense of shared joy and camaraderie. The couple's rumored engagement adds another layer to the narrative of their relationship. While neither Pattinson nor Waterhouse has confirmed the engagement, Waterhouse's appearance with a significant diamond on her wedding finger in December has fueled speculation. This ambiguity serves to keep the public intrigued while allowing the couple to maintain control over the timing and manner of any formal announcement. This strategy of managed disclosure highlights the complex interplay between a celebrity's public persona and private life. By selectively sharing personal milestones, Pattinson and Waterhouse navigate the pressures of fame while preserving the sanctity of their private moments. Robert Pattinson and Suki Waterhouse's journey into parenthood, as revealed through their carefully curated public appearances and statements, offers a compelling case study in celebrity privacy and public engagement. Their approach underscores the importance of personal agency in the face of public scrutiny, demonstrating that it is possible to share significant life events without succumbing to the demands of a voyeuristic celebrity culture. This balance between openness and discretion not only respects their personal boundaries but also sets a precedent for how celebrities can navigate the intersection of their public and private spheres. As Pattinson and Waterhouse continue their journey, their example serves as a reminder of the value of authenticity and control in an often intrusive media landscape.